During World War II, aircraft like the Stuka dive bomber posed a serious threat to ground targets. Ground forces needed a relatively lightweight and flexible low-altitude defense weapon with strong firepower. In light of this, the United States developed an anti-aircraft machine gun turret called the M33, which was equipped with 2.50 caliber heavy machine guns. It was mounted on a half-track vehicle and proved to be successful. Subsequently, the M45 anti-aircraft machine gun turret, based on the M33, was developed with four machine guns and became a classic weapon. The M45 is essentially an upgraded version of the M33, with four M2 heavy machine guns, two on each side. They are controlled by a common elevation structure, and the entire weapon system can rotate 360 degrees on its mounting ring. The rotation and elevation of the weapons are electrically powered, and the turret is equipped with two 6-volt batteries that need to be charged before combat. Each machine gun is fed by a 200-round ammunition box. Although the rate of fire and destructive power of a single M2 machine gun is inferior to that of a 20mm anti-aircraft gun, the M45 solves this problem by increasing the number of machine guns and ammunition capacity. Under the control of the gunner, the elevation angle of the machine guns can range from minus 10 degrees to 90 degrees, and all four machine guns can fire simultaneously. However, the standard operating method is to alternate fire between the upper and lower machine guns. Although this reduces firepower by half, it allows the guns to cool down and enhances sustained output capability. The M45 requires a crew of three. The gunner controls the turret in combat, and there is one loader on each side responsible for ammunition replenishment. Of course, the ammunition box filled with 200 rounds of .50 caliber bullets is not light, weighing about 89 pounds, approximately 40 kilograms, so it is not an easy task. In addition to being directly mounted on various vehicles, the M45 can also be mounted on wheel trailers. The entire M45 system weighs about 1,087 kilograms, which is roughly the same as a 75 mm field gun when combined with a wheel trailer. Therefore, it can be towed by various types of trucks. As is well known, anti-aircraft weapons are effective against both personnel and armored targets, and the M45 anti-aircraft machine gun turret is no exception. It fought alongside the American-made 37mm anti-aircraft gun in the European theater, responsible for low-altitude defense missions. In actual combat, it was also used for strafing ground targets. The suppressive capability of the four heavy machine guns is even better than that of the MG-42 machine gun, which is known for its rate of fire, of course, these are two completely different weapons and cannot be directly compared in terms of overall firepower suppression effect. At that time, the United States also planned to mount the M45 turret on tanks to effectively enhance their anti-aircraft capabilities. However, this approach was not practical because the turret was too large and there was not enough space on the tanks to install it. After World War II, the M45 continued to be used by multiple countries, and the US military used a large number of them during the Vietnam War. Some M45s were mounted on trucks as defensive weapons and achieved good results. In the later stages of World War II, the U.S. Navy also attempted to install the M45, aiming to counter the threat of kamikaze attacks. The USS Lexington and two Essex-class carriers were equipped with some M45 turrets. Although the M45 was agile on naval vessels, its destructive power was not sufficient to deal with those desperate attackers. The Navy still preferred weapons like the 40mm anti-aircraft gun, which could scatter aircraft with a single shot. With the advent of the jet age, the M45 anti-aircraft machine gun turret was clearly inadequate for air defense operations. It couldn't keep up with the high speed of jet aircraft, and its fire control system was too rudimentary. Therefore, its participation in post-World War II wars was mainly focused on ground attacks. Israel even replaced the four machine guns with two 20mm anti-aircraft guns, creating the TCM-20 anti-aircraft turret, which was successfully exported to several countries.